uh, the project that we have received from DBT, that is the um, cataloging. So that DNA fingerprinting and cataloging of bioresources, particularly this is the hotspot. So that's why the idea has come up in uh, globally the barcode of life. So the cataloging and this, their Google map basically, bioresource Google map is the barcoding and their part. If you want to go from um, uh, from uh, Guwahati to Delhi, you can get a Google map. So that's why uh, if you get the global Google map of biodiversity, so human being over here and you can get the Australian people and how they have migrated, you know. These are the basically Google, global Google taxonomy. So <coughs> based on this idea, so barcode of life is a very important uh, area that only the ATGC. So now India has coming in such a way that digital India and all the uh, digitization is very fast forward to our country as well as the global. Like you can talk with WhatsApp and other part is very simple. So digitization has come in such a way, it's a big hub. So government of India is planning to make a digital India. So with this idea, <coughs> uh, what are the uh, idea that we received from the different parts, then we are to propose that whether we can go for the molecular taxonomy or cyber taxonomy or digital taxonomy. So this is the area in Northeast is the best way that we can make a fast forward from the digital bioresource taxonomy. So, so that, that part is there. So <coughs> I, all of we know the biodiversity is these places. So as last eight years, I was in Ashram University. I, and presented all the papers and all these from the Ashan University. Right now, I am taking the charge of Kolan University. And we also having the very um, important issues that we want to focus over there. Like we, we have developed a promote to scientists and school students, we have developed a Kolan University research wing. We are deliberating in the, all the schools and colleges to promote the, uh, take the innovation. And also we uh, develop a one Colon University Innovation Center. So that, that innovation center is four or five areas that we have chosen, one of them the genome science. So we are going for a development of the G Department of Genome Science, Regenerative and Molecular Medicine. Uh, instead of third is like a, after 65 or 70, the people should get some kind of help from the society or the institution. There are several uh, new uh, programs like uh, interdisciplinary cyber physical system. Already we have initiated in our university under the uh, different uh, program. So government of West Bengal is helping a lot to develop this kind of centers. So and now we know the biodiversity is uh, life. Of, uh, is life is our life. So it was decided that the United Nations decade on biodiversity is that 2011 to 20. And in these 10 years that global UNESCO has, United Nations has make a cataloging of inter bioresources in the globe. They have decided in 2020. So that's why bio, biovision, biodiversity, DNA barcoding, that means the, your molecular cataloging or the identification over there. You know, all we know the Carolus linear story, and it is continued that we, only 1.5 million uh, bioresources are cataloged still now. But what are the, how many species are present in the globe? It is very difficult. There are lots of publication. Recently a publication came in PLOS Genetics that they want to claim that more than 40 million, um, uh, 40 million bioresources in the globe. But in that case, is that every bioresource have unique uh, potentiality. Every bioresource have the quality that they want to sustain in the globe. And they have equal right to survive in the globe. So this planet has uh, now, uh, we know the uh, man who have started in 70s. And <laughs> so only 1.5 1, 1 to 2.5 million uh, or kinds of organism identify. Now the question is what are the next and how we can to develop very quickly. That's why the uh, uh, life that makes the only ATGC, all we know, life is there, DNA is there. So that's why the DNA molecules and their orientation and their 
perspective and their functions based on that, so whether we can able to go for species identification level at least to make the cataloging all that part. So based on that, you know, the variation when the, uh, the there are lots of uh, variation is coming, the variety, ecosystem, diversity. So life, all this part is ultimately make the species because it is the backbone of the, um, or grassroots level um, species is the, uh, by definition, this is the grassroots level uh, um, by, by the sources in the globe. So that variation in the species that makes a, the barcode, the, the simple, yeah, and if, if you get the idea, the components of biodiversity, biodiversity if you that the compositional, functional, and the structural part over there. So, so see, all the structural part and the um, compositional part and the functional part, ultimately gene is the core one, genetic structure, gene, and genetic process. So every bioresources are meant for gene, basically. So it, this, is, this is the components of the biodiversity, but you see, all in our code is nothing but your gen genetic structure, genes, and genetic process. This is the inner code. That's why it is believed nowadays that genetic materials, that means your ATGC, give the all process of life by environmental factors or anything that comes under the alternation or epigenetic or anything or environmental factors that keeps your life very processes. It, uh, so that's why it's uh, nowadays is very important issues that you have to study the more genome and the DNA society has given a boost on that in every corner. So now already I told the life when it starts, the lifetime of this part, ultimately we have to the four letters and we get these four letters in different orientation and we look for these four letters, how it looks and how it gives. So that, that concept has come is the DNA barcode of life. That means we know ATGC is the different four colors by sequencing, you know, nowadays automated sequencer has come. Like C is blue, green, red, and black. And that makes your barcode. This is the honeybee. This barcode is the, you can get the honeybee only. And this orientation you cannot get anywhere in the world, any organism. That is the important issue uh, that barcode has come up. So these are the part, like if you get the barcode of this, any uh, parts, any physical parts, if you go for purchase of anything in the uh, big bazaar or any book, anywhere, you can get the, this kind of barcode. So the physics people have identified this barcode and that Paul Hubert, the scientist uh, where I worked some time and he, after 25 years or 25 of research that he made a one gene sequences that makes the really barcode or really species identification throughout the globe. And UNESCO now has accepted this program. And if you say that I want to publish a new species, you have to do the barcode. Otherwise, this new species localized in your area only, not in global area. So that, that's why it's very important to make the barcode on that part and that gives you the digital part on that. So you see, the, uh, the, so even though if you feel the stripe of this Royal Bengal tiger, the, you cannot get the same uh, stripe in any, any Royal Bengal tiger in the world, like a fingerprint. So that's why that kind of some uh, physical parameters, which is governed by the genetic parameters. So there is some kind of change of that that makes we to try to identify. So which we want to say the individual barcode, and we have get the approach for individual barcode through genome other tech uh, project. So uh, these are the part. So you, you see the different kinds of animal or plant, whatever the parts that you can get the barcode. So. It, is, it was found that barcode is sequences is like 550 base pair, 555 base pair, and the species A and species B, and this is the mitochondrial COX-1 gene is the ideal marker for barcode. So these are the technology that are discovered by Paul Hubert, and the part is differentiated over here, and this is the well accepted now. In 2013, they have well accepted that you have to uh, make the barcode sequences and get the part on that. So how it proves basically uh, the Dangen and Paul Hubers, this group, and you see National Museum of National 
history, there are six lakhs birds, and out of which more than five percent birds from India. So, so, so six lakhs of birds, they took the um, feathers and did the sequences all Cox one gene. And 80, the, this is the, the Costa Rica Dangens Laboratory, and 60, it's, uh, 80 lakhs of butterfly took a leg and do the barcode sequences of three or four genes. And it seems that Cox one is the ideal. So the Cox one is ideal, and they revisit with their archival species identification, and they are found some of the species are not is proper way. Then they revisit the morphological and they confirm again the species is, is less and uh, high. So now the uh, I, I found in 2007 in uh, when I was in uh, Paul Hubert's lab, and uh, there are one seminar is the classical taxonomy and molecular taxonomy in this platform, and they are fighting to each other in the platform, whether classical taxonomy is okay or molecular taxonomy is vague. That's the fighting over there. Now it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, more than 12 years since gone, and now it is confirmed that if you want to produce a very good paper, like molecular ecology resource, which goes for more than five impact pa uh, paper, that you have to do the barcode to identify and validate on that. So it was found that 80 per, that mm, the Cox one, and uh, there are new, uh, after 2003, there are lots of paper has come and make the barcode sequences like a, uh, like a stripe of this zebra. You cannot get the similar kind of that. That is uh, your barcode of life, basically. Th this is on that time, some advocates is uh, simple and ambitious. There are some advocates and there are some op oppositions over there. Now it is clearly known that it's uh, ideal for this uh, uh, molecular cataloging. So the DNA barcoding meetings in 2007 started that published in Nature. And in India, in 2007, um, National Bureau of Fish Genetic Research and Kochi, there are 2008, and third meeting was held in DBT in, uh, in 2009 or 4th no May, where lots of people are came and we lead the uh, barcoding workshop and barcoding center. We have a good, very good barcoding laboratory. All of my students are devoted on that, uh, though they are working in cancer biology. Basically, I am a cancer biologist. I work in cancer, mostly in Cleveland Clinic. Here also, I work in cancer genomics. However, this is my feelings, the interest area for people should know the barcoding. So. Uh, then, then what happened? A global science project is the biggest project in the world right now. The barcode of life projects. So, 162 countries are uh, international barcode of life projects. So, they have started over there, and the bearing the genomics to the biodiversity. And this meeting, the the meeting was held in 11 September 2010. I was one of the member present over there. And 162 members have come over here, and they have decided the global summit in 2010 that we have to do the barcode sequences in 2020, all the barcodes. So that's why United Nations had declared the uh, decade, of, decade of biodiversity, that means your molecular cataloging. With this meeting, they have decided that 2011 to 2020 should be the biodiversity decay, barcoding decay, and molecular cataloging decay. So in this meeting, what uh, they have given, World Bank has given lots of money, UNESCO and uh, other organization, to make this popularization or cataloging all the viruses in the globe. And they made the different content. And unfortunately or fortunately, we are not associated with this barcode. Uh, project because we cannot send any biological samples to the other country. Here, objective was that the Misovenium and the uh, U.S. Misovenium and the U.S. Canada, uh, uh, Toronto, these two institutes are taking the bioresources from the globe. Bangladesh are giving the bioresources, all the bioresources to Toronto. And I was uh, one of the U.S. coordinator to give the practical training to the uh, Bangladesh. Uh, we uh, visited three times and give this project, and all the samples they have to send you to the uh, Toronto. So India is not in position to send any biological samples to the other country. But they have made our uh, DST and DBT people are 
discussing with them, they uh, uh, already sent some student, uh, some researchers in Canada and Mesopotamia, because they are the uh, main uh, part over there. So that's why. Uh, but now we ha we are very rich in our scientific scientific area, molecular biology and biotechnology in every every institute, every university has this project, and it it is now our duty to. Uh, finish our job, particularly the cataloging of bioresources over there. So you see, it is very simple technology, basically. I can tell the school boys can do that very nicely. Uh, recently, what happened, I did a one workshop for the KV teachers who are in, in Guwahati, IIT. All the IIT and ISR, they came over here. I have given their uh, project to go in Pune and collect the bioresources and come to over here and next 24th December they will analyze all this project on that. So it is very simple collection of that, then make the some kind of uh, databasing that is your vouchering, the GPS and other part that want to make the digitization. Then extraction of the DNA, then uh, uh, you can do the sequencing, then some kind of bioinformatics analysis and query, then you can make a bold, their bold barcode of live databases. So that is a very simple technology where you can get the three areas, like you want to go in the pond and collect the samples, so you have to get some kind of photograph, GPS and other things. So this is a one area, and second area you have to isolate the DNA and do the sequencing of that part. And third area, you have to go for bioinformatics. So I have a very good book on that, the first kind of DNA barcode book in the world, the three areas that I make. So this is a simple part that is everybody, or every in Goldsmith Harbor Institute, they have made the entire US in 9, 10, 11, 12 students get this barcode and touch the biodiversity in their places they have started already. So now see, these are the uh, ATGC that went to make the barcode. Simple we can get only the four letters. That is the part. But in Northeast, you know, it is very rich area, very rich area. When I was in a um, Asham University, some students are interested to do the turtle, some uh, bamboo, everybody can get the approach to direct on that. In that area, I have produced more than 15 PhD students in different corners. Because they are they are the bamboo specialist, and I want to take somebody as a co-PI who is a very good classical taxonomy of bamboo. So in collaboration with that, we make a very good significant uh, um, significant identification procedure, more than 7,000 identification of gene sequences have been made in Asham University. So, like, a, just I give some, this is the first barcode uh, um, of Royal Bengal Tiger in India. And that uh, I have, uh, 2008, when I came back from US, then within a month I did that and I have presented over there in Canada. So this is the first barcode sequences in India. Then, in Northeast, you know, just I'm giving some highlight. The catfishes is in Northeast, very important fishes are there. I am, I'm, I'm really, honestly, I'm telling, I am not a catfish man. I am only the ATGC man. But who are taking the lead of the catfish is a very good student, I can tell you. Very good student, he knows the fishes and that. And I, uh, one or two teachers, which are in our university and other places, make a small meeting, whether we want to develop them, they have helped me, and we collected all catfishes in Northeast. And you can see the, the what is the present position. So, so like, a, so the first paper came, identification and re-evaluation of freshwater catfishes through biocoding. So we, they want to say there are 26 the fishes, catfishes are present in, in Bombroputro and in the Barak Valley and the tributaries. But now we can tell this is not a 26, that is 32. And we revisit that part on the morphological part, then it is so revalidated, we can do base re-evaluation on that. So see, another example I can give the, uh, this is also a DBT project of uh, who did the PhD in Mohashir fish from Arunachal Pradesh. And he is interested to uh, uh, see the whether the um, clarification of the Mohashir fish in that. So what happened, uh, to, we took a one, mm, 
uh, DNA barcode projects. So we collected all the marshy fishes from northeast as well as the outside of the northeast. And what happened? You see, the one one example I can give you that one fish is mental lobe is there, another one absent. Then what happened? They want to make the different species since. 1,150 uh, years back, and it is continuing to continue. So what happened, we collected all the samples in different places, and Todd Putituri and Todd Progenia are the same species, because they have said the different species, and now only the mental lobe, and barcode sequences has given our the ideal. Then we revisit the morpho morphology of these uh, two species, and it seems that the minute phenotypical differences like six finger in a hand, it may not be another homo sapiens, like that. So revisit and that, the species dilemma of Northeast India, Mohashi, DNA barcoding in clarify the riddle. I got more than 52 ma males after publishing this paper, that uh, how it possible, this and that. Because I told you that I am not a fish man. So my student is very, uh, the Boni I mean Lashkar is very good on that area, he has given some kind of response, 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 and ultimately what happened? From the fish base, the global fish base, they have deleted this name and make a single species. Now it is a single species in the globe. So this is the one example. Like another very good example that the trafficking of ornamental fish from the Northeast is a very alarming. All those who are working in the ornamental fish or fish biology, they can say that we have a high reach of the uh, ornamental fishes in uh, Northeast, and there are more than 1.2 million US dollar exchanges from these ornamental fishes. So there are 267 fish species, uh, species are belonging to our part. So what happened? We collected the fishes from the where the trafficking is going on, like Myanmar side, this side, this side, with the help of some kind of raw people, IB people, and this and that, we have collected all the samples. You will be astonished how the um, part we, with us. So that, so this is the valued uh, ornamental fishes over there, and uh, you see the, this is the one kind of project, barcoding project of, so BOLD system is the barcode of live database system. It's the largest database rather than NCBI. Nowadays it is rather than NCBI, is the largest database on that. So we have uh, the, so you see, and what happened after getting the sequences all that part, 33% of threatened and demand conservation, that 33% uh, fishes out of 150 uh, fishes, they we do not have touched the fishes basically. Now they are trafficking in the other name. So that is a very important issue. When it published in a very uh, in a small journal, like a gene, uh, so this is another paper, Jiribam, and when it published in the, the genetic assessment on normal fish species, there are 27 different newspapers they highlighted our work, even BBC. So these are the, then government of India, I wrote a letter to government of India regarding the trafficking of ornamental fishes of this and that, how we can make the cataloging this and that. So what happened then, it is also <laughs> give a uh, covered page of the National Fisheries Development Board, the, uh, the DNA barcoding helps regulate ornamental trade and con conserving biodiversity in northeast sector, northeast state. So, Based on that, Government of India make a four-man committee to cataloging all of the ornamental fishes in entire India. So there are four-man committee. I was one of the member. And uh, we are taking care on that, Western Ghat, and uh, some of the Eastern Ghat, and Northeast also is considered on that way. We, making a, the, uh, we have submitted the uh, proposal to Government of India how we make these ornamental fish cataloging and their conservation and make some uh, kind of self-employment. So this is another assessment of DNA barcode of Indian fishes. So we have analyzed uh, more than 1,500 uh, DNA sequences and we see that there are lots of ambiguity of the fish species identification. And that makes some kind of uh, assessment we did like a 15,000 
1,500 sequences. What happened? We had to get the 88 Indian fishes DNA barcode were assigned as a true species and 12 species, 12 percent. That means six species are found hidden within two normal species. So six in two. We are describing two species. Basically, they are six species. Now make the morphological taxonomy. So the entire revisit is necessary of the entire uh, part on that. So these are the, anyway. So uh, next we have to make the turtle and tortoise. We have in our hands is all the turtle and tortoise in India, uh, Northeast as well as India. Here also we have given uh, some kind of new species is there. Based on this uh, uh, molecular taxonomy, then we can make the revisit of the morphotaxonomy. The classical taxonomy and molecular taxonomy that gives our very good nations on that. So there are uh, India 28 uh, different species are 11 are listed either in endangered and their northeast is 24 species but now we make a, another story on that part. So see these are the uh, um, turtle and tortoise are getting and how it gets a new species is from southern Asia, Indonesia and then it comes into the Varag Valley. They come in that way. That are the new two species in our northeast India. This student, so these are the, all the barcoded we have. We are going to get a good monograph on that uh, shortly. So that's why taxonomic rank of Indian turtles revisit with barcoding perspective. So a new report for all, then it is a uh, forest turtles has either format in Northeast India. Anyway, then, uh, then we worked in a horseshoe crab uh, uh, collected from um, Sundarbon, and there are uh, the, the they are the missing link basically, uh, missing link and living fossil. So we try to understand why these uh, uh, horseshoe crab remain uh, uh, as such because there are three um, uh, three disaster has gone like a dinosaur is no more today. But before that, they are in the same pattern on that. Now we try to make the uh, some kind of migration pattern over there with the help of uh, SD Marine uh, bioresources from Professor Amulesh uh, Choudhury has collected lots of samples and given to me. And we did, anyway, I am not, so these are the uh, part in the turtle and tortoise, uh, sorry, uh, for horseshoe crab and how it makes it in the global picture because only two or three places you can get only the horseshoe crab. So now another very important issue is the nematrine from the Sundarbon. It, it's a one kind of uh, proboscis worms, and uh, two PhD students are, mm, did their part of, from this work. And anyway, um, this is a new species that we want to get the five new species on this uh, part. So we worked on the I told you bamboo, orchid, medicinal plant, citrus, all one can, you can get a one PhD out of that. Like a bamboo, northeast boundary, bamboo is very important. Orchid is also important, medicinal plant and citrus. So uh, just let me give the identification to ethnomedicinal plant through DNA barcoding from northeast India. And so we made uh, some kind of insertion, deletion based on the citrus. Citrus is a very important and we got the citrus in different altitude. And we got the, some kind of climate change and that makes some kind of deletion or insertion in the, in, in the proposed gene that makes the differences over there. Anyway, so this is the orchid. And we did the orchid, more than 282 orchid found in Northeast from Manipur and from Shillong, uh, uh, from Manipur, Shillong and Shikim. There is an orchid research institute. One of our colleagues is there, um, Shamuli, uh, Shamuli Bhatchas is there. He's a scientist of orchid. And Monipur, there is a one orchid uh, garden. All the orchid that we did the uh, uh, barcoded, and it seems a different kind of uh, part. And uh, really, it's a very interesting story. I cannot communicate the paper because I have a lack of knowledge on the orchid. That's the great problem. But there are lots of more than 300 sequences and that gives a uh, different part. So I am trying to get the orchid people to make this paper in very good journal anyway. So we have uh, 13 different projects. It's the highest project barcode in the globe. 
Somebody is working only on the fish. Somebody is working this and that. So I am working on the ATGC, and my students are working in the different fields. That's why we have the largest database present in the board system in the globe. That, like these are the things. Now, again, we have to make the 555 base pair is ideal, but whatever the archaeological species, it's very difficult to collect the, isolate the DNA because it makes the fragmented on the 2000 years back on the, any. When I contacted from the Geological Survey of India, there are lots of samples are there. And in the geology department of Calcutta, they have a lots of skull which came from before British part from the UK. And we collected some of the skull, it might be the more than 1,000 years back, you know. So it's very difficult to isolate the DNA. Then we make the mini barcode concept. Whether, whether 650 base pair amplification is very difficult because we cannot get on that. So what happened, we try to make the mini barcode concept. That mini barcode concept is like 554. And the diagnostic characters, we want to find out what are the diagnostic character? Then we have the, uh, uh, we, we can collect the uh, fragmented DNA uh, below the 200 base pair and try to make the uh, um, part, the mini barcode concept in catfish. And we find uh, the transversion and transition ratio is the more important part over here. And we develop a 190 base pair fragment of COX-1 that gives a uh, equal barcode sequences of the 555. So we use this and we uh, make the archival species and uh, the paper that design of mini barcode for catfish for assessment of archival biodiversity is a 7.5 impact paper. And the Joyraj who initiated with that, he was in tai Taiwan for, uh, um, for postdoc. It's a very a uh, good paper that we came out with the 119. And <coughs> you will be happy that uh, London, Mississippi, uh, London Museum, they are using our primer for get up their bar, uh, archival species. I have found the, their publication uh, cited our these uh, primer sequences. Then again, we want to uh, barcode try to make, the, because it is very important to how we can get the mini barcode concept. The, Again, the uh, barcode motif based on the protein structure, we convert, we went into the uh, DNA structure and get a, one kind of degenerative site of uh, mark in interspecific uh, variable sites. And this is the area that we are very much interested. And we develop uh, like 154 base pair, which is uh, based on the protein structure of these uh, sequences and make a uh, recently two months, two months bar, uh, back, I got it one other uh, five, four or five months. Design of character-based DNA barcode motif for species identification, computational approach, and its validation. So with this information that we want to get the all the barcode part, and in 2020, there are the Apple company has a more with the um, uh, Institute of Bio uh, Diversity to develop a one kind of um, mobile phone, like a biodiversity phone biodiversity barcode phone and that will come very shortly. So this mini barcode approach also, uh, this, then again, the approach for uh, ornamental fishes, how we can get the ornamental fishes, they are mini barcode uh, part. So that is also published in Gene recently. So what kind of deliberation, the taxonomy dispute, adulteration of meat, milk and product. If you give me any milk and meat product, I can say, that this is from goat, this is this is from cattle, this soup um, uh, from, uh, you, uh, you may get the, there is no beef in the hotel, but soup may be in beef. If you give me, I can tell you the, what kind of uh, fish, uh, what kind of meat is there. And they are, even their percentage of adulteration. So that also in, uh, also we develop. Then herbal juice detection, wildlife animal poaching. We, in the Northeast uh, there are, 13 different an wild animal is poaching basically. We have the, all the sequences and we develop a ready record now. If you give me a meat or anything, I can tell you this is rhinos, this is this, this is this. Because we, we already, uh, already we have the poaching part and we can identify very easily 
on that basis by the technology. Then trafficking of life, like ornamental fish, then proper database archival species that we want to get the cyber taxonomy. And we try to make the DNA chips, mini barcode DNA chips of the bioresources. We are discussing in, a, in Finland one company that uh, they are uh, interested to make this kind of uh, barcoding chips. So this is the ornamental fish, uh, fish barcoding. Then this is the adultation meat because uh, uh, we develop a primer uh, that all animal can be amplified. Then PCR RFLP can give your ideal. Uh, no need for sequencing, but it's very simple. The uh, part on that we did some some kind of, <laughs> and this is a wild wild animal identification. Uh, all all part uh, that then uh, authentication of. Uh, juice is a say, very simple. Then is DNA barcode rule for species identification from herbal juice. So now emerging norm ta tabletop lab labs. So it will take now more less than one hour to identify. Just want to give you one story in 2010. Uh, in the in the uh, rose like a uh, Valentine Day. There are lots of rows are coming from Canada to US, and there you can get the, some kind of ticks in the rows, and the biological samples should not enter into the US. So they made the stack of all 17 tracks over there, having the huge roses for the Valentine days. Then uh, these insects, the flower insects, uh, they they got the flower association. Uh, approach to Paul Hubbard, and they got a very good f fund, and they now develop a all insect related to flowers, and they made a ready record on that. And if you get any insect of the flower, if you give within one hour, they can tell these species is these, this is a migrated from these and that. So make it like a uh, so this technology is coming in faster, more portable. So that that th this is an important producing barcode data. 2020, Apple company has initiated the taxonomic GPS also you can get all the information because when you get a one accession number of the barcode sequences, you put over there, you can get all the sequences of, uh, all the sequences over there. So that kind of give you the GPS also like uh, taxonomy global, global map. The one mango from here, another mango from Australia, and how it migrate from this place, this place. So you can get this kind of information with that part. So now, just uh, I'm finishing shortly. So barcoding is, is only the species level. That makes a Cox one. And the uh, I barcode is a part where the beyond the barcoding and the species level that is genetic diversity of these viruses. We did some, like human, in human being, uh, this is the human being Cox one base, chimpanzee and gorilla orangutan. So there are some differences is there. But in human, only you can get one or two. This is Australian people and uh, some other people, like even the, there are 19 Northeast people are over there. There are the same sequences. But you know, that's why the Cox one cannot give you their individual barcode or species, beyond the species. So you have to choose the another part. So based on that, we make a one paper, like a genetic diversity of pony, which is a, in, Manipur is very important pony. You know, this pony is not a descendant of Indian horses. This is different. And their, their migration pattern, based on that, we develop uh, the part. One of my students, Mirinda, uh, she did the, she is from Manipur. And <coughs> so in that way, we make some kind of genomic diversity, like a shiri cattle, you know, the origin of the shiri cattle in domesticated. This is a paper came in Nature. Uh, uh, that uh, the boss is somehow is uh, in the area of Himalayan toilet. In 2011 or 12, the paper has come in Nature. But then one of my PhD students, he is interested to uh, do some kind of work on the boss. And I said that you have to collect samples, more than 200 samples from the different northeast areas of the Shiri cattle and bison like that. And after getting this part, Really, uh, now we can tell, yes, this is the origin of bost or uh, origin of all PCCs. They, in nature paper, they have given all this part, 
but they said in their paper that somewhere it is in the in the Himalayan parts, and we are able to discover this part, and we are trying to communicate the paper based on physical as well as the molecular data. <coughs> so even though this is a uh, goat, black Bengal goat is another part. Two PhD students are involved already. They have submitted their thesis. Then jungle fowl, why the domestication of the jungle fowl and their part. The jungle fowl is originated from Assam. So all the parts in the poultry is really originated from Assam. So that part, uh, so different um, haplogrouping. So now we try to make the some kind of uh, uh, so in human DNA, I'm not g going details on that because uh, we also worked on the more than 200 samples from the Northeast because we have a big project on the nasopharyngeal cancer and oral cancer uh, covering the, all the state. So we are getting the samples from all the state as a normal. Then we did some kind of genetic diversity of this among the Northeast people. So we got this uh, some kind of different which is published earlier, Parthosair and other. We, parallel evolution may be happen. Uh, we are looking for this on the, some kind of <coughs> um, uh, um, uh, other genes also. Now, the, we, 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 presently we had a project on like a um, other, all we know. So whether we can connect the genome other. So we have, uh, this project is uh, constituted uh, under the uh, eight institute, including the uh, IIT Guwahati, but we want to focus initially two years. We want to focus on goat and pig. So, uh, pig research institute and other research institute in Kolani and IIT, IIST. So, eight institute are making this project on the pig, and uh, so we made a other other. There are six component. We try to collect, capture these pictures from the goat and pig, and try to make the. Uh, part of the, we, we are very happy to say some, some individual class, cluster level, image cluster level with the genetic consequences are in the pipeline. So that, that's why we make the, some kind of individual barcode, this is our concept. So why this thing is necessary, uh, accident like a uh, Ganeshwari Express, uh, there was 192 different uh, deaths has happened. But only 40, uh, 40 individuals can identify. What about the rest? So that can be give a, some kind of idea and uh, to individual barcode if you want to develop on the genome basis, that all in the sequence basis, then because like a fingerprint, you cannot get the fingerprint in the accident, very difficult, but you can get a one stretch of DNA, one step of start. If you want to get this sign, then it will be helpful for getting of that part. So what happened, uh, already we know this uh, Alec Jeffries part on that. So recently, government of India, uh, the president, uh, former president, Prabhu Mukherjee has given a uh, um, circular to all the chief secretary uh, in the state that you have to get the, some kind of double checking of your identity card. So why this, the ban, it has come from Rashtrapati Bhavan, so the authentication of your identity card issued by the government and used for the ascending government active services. So they are trying to get this part. We have taken this project in our field and try to make the individual barcode and uh, get, uh, we, we have taken government of Bengal uh, supporting me to get this kind of projects. Already we have started on that. So. I'm not going details on that. So based on this uh, criteria and the candidate genes, we try to make some kind of genome-wide research and start reveals the part on that, whether we can get some kind of, uh, so like a family barcode or a bar barcode. This is, the, uh, this is the one family, another family, another family. So make the some kind of family dif differences. Based on that, we are trying to get the, um, individual barcode or family barcode. I am planning to all members of Kulan University, uh, we are going to this kind of barcode sequences to my employees so that we can make a, some kind of part in their identity card 
so that that makes their own sequences. So we are trying to build. Already we have started this program, and <coughs> so this is the researcher. So this is the barcoding technology that we have make uh, throughout the like 19 states as covered with this barcode facilities at Assam University, and. See, this is a 19 state from Arunachal Pradesh to Gujarat, uh, Kashmir to Kerala. They have uh, making, my students are really give this uh, hospitality to, and it is a for uh, uh, Bangladesh. I am associated to with the training to Bangladesh by USDA in the bar live barcode project. So we used to go there and train them. So this is the book that we have first published in the, this is the world first book on the DNA barcoding. Now this book is, uh, is on, you can get the online from this Institute of Bioresources uh, Toronto because they are giving the online courses on DNA barcoding and they have taken the part. And this is the new books has already published and two books is coming based on this barcoding concept on that part. So this is the Paul Hoover when I discussed with him in 2010 then Paul, you are doing a lot and publication is coming so many and future that might be very uh, useful useful in the society and hopefully you will get uh, the Nobel Prize in near future. Then he said, please Shankar, make a photograph for you. But that is the photograph. That we had. <laughs> so the human resources that we developed, there are 14 PhD already done, more than 50 and 100 papers we got and two to three books and four postdocs also work and two patents are underway and national association, uh, two associations in DNA barcoding. So we get, and lastly, when I, mm, uh, we, uh, in UGC has a, approved a project on the Genomic Diversity Center for Excellence of the Northeast Reach Satellite Center. And they came in Silchar, but whether it is possible to get the national center uh, like uh, the genomic center or barcoding center at Shilchar because it is uh, well ill connected to all the states from the northeast. So anyway, they came and visited. They uh, supposed to give lots of money and infrastructure, etc. But however, I am out of that uh, uh, Shilchar right now, so we cannot proceed on that. But uh, my feelings, the digital taxonomy or cyber taxonomy, maybe should come forward in the Northeast for in the bigger way. So that in the entire cataloging of the Northeast, that is very much important and their conservation is a main focus on that part. So this is my 2010, my staff,